Hey guys, so this is going to be my review for The Evening in the Morning, the prequel to The Pillars of the Earth. If you've watched my channel, you know that I really, really enjoyed The Pillars of the Earth. Uh, this year I read it again on a reread and loved it, did a review on the channel. I'll link it here and in the description. But um, wanted to go ahead and give you my thoughts on this one. It came out September 2020, uh, September 15th, 2020, um, and it starts in the year 997. Uh, we end up going past the turn of this turn of the uh, millennium, not century, millennium, and um, we are almost exclusively set up in England. But there is a small part of the book in Cherbourg, Normandy. Um, that is where one of our main characters, Ragna, is from. She's a noblewoman from that area, and then she marries a man. Um, from the town of Shiring. If you remember in Pillars of the Earth, Shiring is the town where um, our bad guys live. Uh, very important to the Pillars of the Earth. Um, and a real town in England. Well, Kingsbridge, which Pillars of the Earth is a fictional town that is based on. Um, Kingsbridge, England is not real, but there's it's where everything's set, right? Well, this is the beginning of Kingsbridge. The way that we're set up here is the Vikings come in and so havoc. Um, the kings of England are trying to pay them off, um, basically bribe them to stop stealing their stuff, um, and it's not working. And so all of the towns on the coast are getting destroyed. Um, basically, they come in, they steal, they kidnap, they take people as slaves, and they, they run, they leave off, they steal all the precious things they can grab and get out, um, and then they hit another town. Then they go sell all this stuff in Cherbourg, Normandy. So Normandy is the reason that the story happens, sort of, but um, it's the reason that all the characters come together, right? So very, very early on in the book, we meet Edgar. Um, Edgar is an apprentice shipbuilder. He works with his dad and his two brothers, and his mom kind of runs the business. Uh, she's the she's the money mind, and he, the dad, is basically the builder. And then Edgar is the most talented of the brothers. Basically, his dad can tell him once, and he figures it out. He knows it. He's just one of those people that is so engineering-minded that uh, if he's presented with a problem, he can fix it. His brothers are great at doing things, but... Fixing problems are not really their strong point. Um, if you give them something to do, they do it and they do it well. Um, but Edgar is the guy that you give him a problem and he finds a solution. That's really um, a huge part of his story. And his story, for me, as an engineering-minded man, um, I found him super interesting. Totally loved his character. So again, I talked about Ragna. She's a Norman noblewoman. Can't remember if her father's a duke or whatever he was. So she is trying to be married to a French guy because Normandy is on the coast of France. Uh, eventually was brought into France, if you know anything about that. Um, not sure when or how that all happened, but used to be its own place. And then um, it, it was very English heavy at the time. Um, and then um, the Norman French was their own distinct language. And then you had French and you had English. Um, all of that was all wrapped together. It's, it's pretty neat to go through that history. Um, that's why this is a lot of fun for me. But she meets Alfred, which is a monk who was buying books in France, and he's going over back to England where he's from. Um, he's actually part of the Shiring Monastery. So he, uh, or I think they call it a priory. Um, so he's actually a member of the Shiring Priory, and he's in Cherbourg getting books. So meets Ragna, and they kind of form a friendship. Um, and then when the town that Edgar lives in is attacked by Vikings, um, Edgar's dad, Edgar's dad dies, killed by the Vikings, and the woman he loves is also killed by the Vikings. And so he comes in, and they're trying to take her as a slave. He gets the Viking axe, which is a big part of the story, um, and he kills that Viking, but he's already killed his girlfriend that he's madly in love with. Um, and Basically, him, Edgar, his mom, and his two brothers are destitute. All their tools are gone, all their boats were stolen or set on fire, and they go to um, the, the landlord. And the land, they ask the landlord, like, what should I do, what should I do? And so he's like, all right, what I'll do for you is I've got this, this farm. I'll let you take it and work it. I'll give you a year of rent off, and you just make it work. And he doesn't tell them. 
it's basically a crap farm in a small town called Drains Ferry. Um, so they they just leave. They take everything they can carry on their backs and they head over to this farm, this old abandoned farm. And so Edgar meets the 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 girl that is the daughter of the fairy the ferryman's daughter basically um and she's immediately attracted to him and a bunch of drama happens there so through that he becomes the ferryman that's how he eventually meets ragna because the city lord goes to ragna's family and says hey all these vikings are raiding our english towns and then coming over here and selling you all of our stuff um so I'd like a treaty where you stop trading with these Vikings. And through that, him and Ragna fall in love. Um, and he's he goes back to his town, kind of treats her really poorly. Um, but then it's like, look, I just love her. You know, I want her to be with me. And she loves him in that teenager kind of love where she's like, uh, he's the one for me. He's the only one for me. Um, and so she makes the trip to England to marry him. Um, and through that trip, she meets Edgar because Edgar has taken over in the ferry um, through things that happen. And so he's creating a new ferry boat. He's, you know, using his shipbuilding skills and his engineering skills really to better himself and better his family, his mom and his brothers. Um, his brothers get married eventually and he helps that part of the family. Um, and then because they created a relationship, he actually goes and he does some carpentry work for Ragna and they form a friendship um and then a lot of horrible things happen to ragna um later on because of her husband and because of her husband's brothers all right so i uh, ran out of storage space there werewolf the guy that ragna marries is about as good as an english lord at the time could be um he's promiscuous he doesn't he's not faithful to her um he's infatuated with her don't i don't even know if he's really in love with her but he does take good care of her um he likes her enough and he is impressed enough with her leadership ability skills that he feels comfortable with her keeping order while he's gone while he's gone um but his brothers who are his half brothers are really awful you've got winston the bishop and I think the other brother's name is like Warwick. They're all W's. It's like Warwick or Wilson or something like that. And um, he's a horrible guy too. Um, like literally when he meets her, he grabs her by the breasts. Like awful dude. Um, and so we're kind of, you could tell her life is about to get bad. Um, and then I think they have like a year or two of happy marriage um, where she... She does pretty well, and then, like, uh, the stepmother causes some strife, and then the two brothers cause strife because they want to be in charge of Werewolf's life. Um, and she is taking the role of administrator that they want so badly. Alfred is one of the cool characters. We meet him first in Cherbourg. He wants to create a center of learning at the um, Shire, Shiring Priory. Um, so he goes, he gets books from Cherbourg, and he takes them back. They literally had three books, and he brought three books, so he doubled their library. Imagine, 997, like, six books is a lot of books. Like, they're handwritten, hand put together, all that. So, um, might need some light now that it's starting to get dark here. Um, but yeah, it, it the characters are good. The story is good. Um, I know this is a bit of a spoiler, but as you as you go through the story, the thing that I had the problem with is it's so predictable. Um, there's one thing I didn't predict, and it was the um, had to do with the church that eventually becomes the Kingsbridge Priory, um, and some of the stuff that happens. Um, you've got Iron Face; he's really cool. Wish there was more Vikings in it. Basically, um, you get a little bit of bike Vikings in the beginning, and then you get a little bit of Viking battle, um, but what I thought was going to be tons of Vikings was not tons of Vikings. And that kind of, um, biffed it for me. But, um, I gave it four stars only because I felt like it was a retread of the pillars of the earth. A lot of the character archetypes were the same. A lot of the scenarios were the same and you just kind of tweaked things a little bit. You know, you, you have your good Bishop you have, you have your good monk character, you have your evil bishop character. Your monk character has one big sin that really bothers them. Philip, his big sin was uh, pride, um, and 
um, Alfred's big sin is homosexuality. He, he is gay, but he's in love with Edgar, and Edgar is not gay, so it keeps him from sinning. But they never use it against him, um, which an evil character would use it against him. It, it just wraps up too tightly in a nice, neat, orderly bow. Um, one thing, two things that I think would turn a lot of people off is um, horrible, horrible rape. Um, there is a, a couple scenes where the rape is awful, and I feel genuinely sorry for that. But Pillars of the Earth had one of those as well. Um, the other is the death of a baby, a newborn slave baby. Um, that I could see you closing the book and, and just being done. Um, and as a man, I, it never affects me as much as I um, think it would affect a woman. Um, and, and I say that because I was watching uh, the first episode of Grimm with my wife. And there's a scenario where a little girl gets kidnapped. And I said, this is fiction. No big deal. My wife was literally torn up about it and had, um, like, tears in her eyes crying, thinking about our children being kidnapped. And so if that kind of thing triggers you, totally understand. There is really awful death of a baby. Um, and I could totally understand if you don't want to read the book because of it. The thing, another thing that got me is that you saw almost everything coming. Um, you know they're going to fall in love. You know the bad guys are going to get defeated. Um, and then it's all going to tie up with a happy bow. Um, and that was really my problem with the book. Really the only problem I had with the book. Um, the characters are interesting. Their scenarios are interesting. It just felt like we'd, we'd been here before. We'd done this before. So let me know what you think. Have you read it before? Are you turned off by the death of a baby? Is that an, a no-go for you? Let me know. Write, write, write me a comment. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, I've noticed in my analytics that 75% of my uh, viewers are not subscribers. So if you want to see some more of this, uh, please stop on by. And uh, I'll keep doing book reviews. And hopefully you guys will be back for the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.